Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We are gonna be doing a foundation review today. This is the new foundation from Maybelline. This is the Dream Urban Cover Foundation and it's a full coverage, protective makeup, and it's also sunscreen SPF 50. They are around 16 shades on the website. I believe this is around 10 to $11. I picked up three of this foundation just to see if I find my shade it is the first coverage protective makeup that achieve a lightweight breathable finish. This is a SPF 15 and it protects your skin, UVA and UVB damage. I have three of the shades. This is what it looks like. So this is Java, which is 375, which is the darkest shade. I'm looking at this right now. Definitely not going to work for me. So we're not going to try this. Truffle is the second darkest, which is 362 okay the other one which is is cafe ulit cafe ulit i guess <laughs> is 348 i'm gonna try this one first i don't know if maybe i have to mix this together i picked up the new setting spray from maybelline as well because i want to try it out with this this is a maybelline lasting fix setting spray it sets your makeup for 16 hours and this is a matte finish oh the reason why I picked these three shades up because I want you guys to see what you guys are working with if you want to try this out. And let's just see if it works and maybe maybe I will use the other one. this out and just mix them together i'm just trying out something guys because i don't really want this foundation to look too dark on my skin i want to be able to use this in the summertime which is a spf 50 so i'm going to use this brush let me just see how it works in it but it is a full coverage so i really don't want to put too much and it's a little bit too watery too but i let me just see how it will blend out so far it looks okay i'm really not sure for the finish the face is still dark it's by mixing both of them together and you guys know that picking up foundation online is just not something that i like doing at all i really do like it i love the finish it's definitely a full coverage but i want to see how it's selling into my skin first before i do my other step um, so this is what it looks like after 15 minutes it looks a little dewy i did not put any primer oil or anything on my face i'm gonna use this from juvia's place this is a concealer this is the shade number nine it looks very nice i like the dewy finish either way i just want to see how it looks with the concealer and this is also full coverage i'm going to take it all over the nose as well i'm going to set my on the eyes i'm going to be using my black radiance setting powder i love this setting powder it's just so beautiful under the eyes no creasing at all i know this video is not about you know juvia space or anything like that but i used the setting powder in another video and i really did not like it it just creased under the eyes so bad and this works pretty nice and next we're gonna contour a little bit I'm just gonna show you guys the contour that I'm gonna use this is from Maybelline this is a super stay powder but this is uh, Java which is 375 
Oh, it's the same color like this, so I know this is gonna be a little dark. I don't know if you guys ever used this before, but this is pretty dark. You only need a little bit. This is from BH Cosmetics. I'm just gonna take a little bit and just, you know, contour a little bit, and that is it. If I have to use this foundation, I won't do all of this, but just for the sake of this video, I want to do everything so you guys can see how it looks. I really do like it. It looks so pretty. Now I'm gonna be using my HD Flawless Powder. This is from Absolute New York, and I always talk about this. This is a very beautiful powder. I don't know if you guys ever use this, but if you never use this, you have to get your hands on this. You could find this at the beauty supply store. So I set the face because it's a little bit too dewy for me. It just looks too shiny. Next, I'm gonna use the spray. I wanna see how this spray works with this foundation. So I'm gonna just take my sponge and I'm just gonna pat it in. And the reason why I do that, because it takes so long to dry and sometimes you leave that little spot when it dry. Like, with the spray, it feels really nice. So I wanna give this a wet test. The time now is 522. And I'm gonna come back in a few hours. Now this is how it looks. I really do like it. Let me just turn this side so you guys can see. And then this side, well, the shades usually mess me up a lot, but I do like it. It is a full coverage foundation. It covers really nicely. I don't know how long I'm gonna keep that on my face, but we're just gonna see if it looks any different than what it looks now. So I'm gonna see you guys in a few hours. The time now is 8.30. So I had this foundation on for at least three hours now, and this is how it looks. It really don't look that bad at all. Just maybe one or two things I've seen about this foundation on my face. I do get a lot of creasing around the lips. I don't know if you guys can see that. It really don't look that bad. I do love the coverage. I am getting a little oil around my nose area. We never got that before. I think I did great just mixing these two together because this combination works really good. Like I said before, I use Toffee and I use Cafe Oulet. So these two really goes together for me. Just having this on for a few hours, I definitely could use this foundation in the summertime. Actually, this is a full coverage foundation, like I said, and you guys know Maybelline, they have a very nice foundation. I don't like leaving foundation on my skin too long. I think three hours is enough for me. I'm not sure how long this foundation is gonna last on the skin, but I'm sure you could go for maybe a full day and it will look very nice on the skin. If you are my shade, I would recommend that you mix these two together. This is a highly recommended foundation if you guys wanna try this out. I'm not sure if they have this at the store at this moment, but you could try it. Alter has it, and I did watch a video, and she said that she got hers from Walmart, which is $10 on their website, and Alter has it for 13. So if you guys wanna save some money, try the Walmart website or go to the store. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.